and there it is the finished product Hi, Jay here. As you can see, I've got my Printerbot Go Large version 2 up and running. Um, not without some problems, but uh, right now it's a. Uh, I'm running it fairly slow. This is a two and a half hour print of a uh, hex hub adapter that I've done on both my cube that I had. I've done on all my maker bots and some other ones. So it'll be a good way for me to judge uh, what the output is. Just this is still basically straight out of the box. Um, very little tweaking, just basically uploaded the G code, threw it in uh, Octo Print, sent over by Wi Fi, and hit print. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, also, I printed some of the calibration cues, which comes in, uh, the G code comes on the SD card they send you. Um, that's some of the stuff they sent me, the freebie. And I put in some good Zen Toolworks white that I know prints really good. Especially, well, I know it prints in my replicator. So let me tell you about uh, the problems. Um, I had told you in the earlier unboxing video that the, the screws had come loose from the back and I put back in what I thought it went. Or the, all the parts I found I put back in and tightened the screws. I made the comment the screws wouldn't tighten down. Well, I couldn't get the bed level. I mean, I, I was using the auto level, which everybody said, oh, it works. You know, G29 code. It wouldn't level. It was it was goofing up bad. I mean, I even I even messed with the inductance uh, pickup, everything. Scratched the plate barely right here in the front corner. I, it was kicking my butt. I was reading on the internet. Remind me to edit that back out. That didn't make any sense. Anyway, what turned out to be the problem is I told you the screws fell out. Well, there's little white bushings here, little plastic bushings, and there's three across the front. Well, what I didn't realize when I put the stuff that I had found back in, there was only one in the middle of the little white things. So if you look in between here, the aluminum plate was doing this. And when you do a G29, it's going to that back corner, even it's being, you know, uh, down, so it would come back up here and gouge. Oh my God, that was a three hour ordeal right there. I mean, I even got my mics out, and I'm like, what? Is the bed warped this bad? The bed can't be warped this bad. I mean, it was sloped. And that's when I looked in the back. So for right now, I've got uh, some extra pieces that came off of this uh, reel, the little wedge pieces. I've got stuck under there until I can machine some new bushings at work. Um, I mean, I can make them in like 15 minutes at work. And let me tell you, you know, this is a little busy. Um, that little, this little U-shape has got to fit, and you got to slide it at just the right angle to get over the the, the studs, the wood. That's a little busy. Um, I don't think it needs to be that that thing complicated. Um, you know, you could just make that a square where it sits like this. I know it pulls it in and makes it nice and tight, but that's also a little bit of a pain there. You'll see when you put one together. Um, right now I'm going to concentrate on getting one extruder uh, perfectly running what I want. Again, this is a two and a half hour print. Not because it's big or complicated, just because I'm running it fairly slow. Um, 
But anyway, I'm going to work on getting one extruder working right, uh, and then I'm going to concentrate on getting the other two extruders up and running. I've got the little disc that they, they sent me that shows the, uh, the three colors calibrated um, with their settings. With that bed, and I gotta fix it, and you know it's gonna be sitting like this over the weekend. I'm probably gonna have to wind it, re-zeroizing everything. But uh, anyway, I'm gonna be playing with it over the weekend. But I just want to show you that it's up and running. And like like I said, that's a part I design, so we'll see how it turns out. Um, it's something I run at work. Uh, but anyway, this is Jay. Um, that's the printer. I'll be cutting some printing uh, close-up videos in between all this talking. And I guess I'll talk to you in my next video. Stay tuned and keep printing.